Welcome back to Celeb Memorial TV. Here, we celebrate the legacies of stars who shone brightly in our lives. Join us as we honor their journeys and the lasting impact they made. Before we start to support us, please hit that like button. Thank you. The theatrical world has lost one of its most cherished stars, Julian Forsyth, who passed away at the age of 71. Forsyth, whose career graced stages from the West End to Broadway, was celebrated for his versatility and depth as an actor. He left an everlasting mark on the industry with performances in iconic productions such as Wicked, An American in Paris, and The Woman in Black. Born on December 5, 1952, Forsyth's passion for acting was evident from his early days, leading him to some of the most prestigious stages in the world. His role as Lieutenant Brannigan in Guys and Dolls at the Royal Albert Hall showcased his commanding presence, while his portrayal of Joe Gillis opposite Glenn Close in Sunset Boulevard at the London Coliseum highlighted his dynamic range. Forsyth was perhaps best known for his long-standing performance as Arthur Kipps in The Woman in Black. He was the final actor to embody this role in the West End, bringing a unique blend of intensity and nuance that became a hallmark of the production's success over its 33-year run. Beyond the stage, Forsyth's kindness and professionalism made him a beloved figure among his peers. His impact extended into television, where he appeared in notable British series such as Father Brown and A Touch of Frost, bringing his theatrical expertise to the small screen. The Watermill Theatre, where Forsyth performed in The Wicker Husband in 2022, remembered him as a magical presence, both on stage and off. Tributes from colleagues like Gemma Sutton, who described him as a class act and a father figure in multiple productions, underscored the deep personal and professional bonds he formed throughout his career. As the curtains close on his storied career, the legacy of Julian Forsyth remains vivid in the memories of those who witnessed his performances and in the hearts of many he touched. His contributions to theater and film will not be forgotten, ensuring that his influence will continue to inspire future generations of actors and audiences alike. Rest in peace, Julian Forsyth, a true luminary of the stage and screen. The film and television community mourns the loss of Betty Ann Reese, an actress known for her compelling portrayals of strong, complex characters who passed away at the age of 81. Reese's death followed health challenges that included a series of falls and a possible stroke, compounded by a battle with multiple sclerosis diagnosed in the early 1990s. Born on April 14, 1943 in Shaker Heights, Ohio, Reese's career spanned several decades during which she became a familiar face in both film and television. She is perhaps best remembered for her roles in the 1970s films The Unholy Rollers and Sugar Hill, where she played characters that resonated with audiences for their grit and authenticity. In The Unholy Rollers, Reese starred as Mickey Martinez, a fierce roller derby star whose rivalry with a teammate underscores the film's dramatic tension. This role, along with her portrayal of the villainous Celeste in Sugar Hill, showcased her ability to embody complex characters in genre films. Reese's television career was equally notable, with appearances on popular shows like My Three Sons, where she played Janet Ingram, and guest roles on series such as Mannix, Lou Grant, and The FBI. Her versatility allowed her to navigate seamlessly between dramatic and comedic roles, making her a beloved figure on the small screen. Beyond her acting, Reese's life off-screen was filled with diverse interests and accomplishments. She was an entrepreneur who ran Gloria Marshall figure salons and ventured into kitchen design. Her inventive spirit even led her to create the executive teething ring, a playful gift item from the 1980s. Reese's legacy extends beyond her film and television roles. Described by her niece as a vibrant and loving presence, she was deeply connected to her family and her community. Her commitment to her craft and her ability to touch audiences with her performances leave a lasting imprint on the entertainment industry. As we remember Betty Ann Reese, we celebrate her contributions to the arts and the enduring impact of her work. Her performances, which captivated audiences and brought depth to every role, will continue to inspire and entertain future generations. Rest in peace, Betty Ann Reese. The entertainment world mourns the loss of Kevin Brophy, the quintessential character actor known for his unique roles and enduring presence in both film and television. Brophy passed away at the age of 70 at his home in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Kevin Brophy's career was marked by his remarkable ability to bring eclectic and often supernatural characters to life. 
He gained fame portraying a young man raised by wolves in the ABC series Lucan, which aired in the late 1970s. In this role, Brophy embodied a character with wolf-like abilities, a role that showcased his talent for physicality and deep character immersion. Though Lucan lasted only 12 episodes, Brophy's performance left a lasting impression on its viewers. Brophy's penchant for portraying complex characters continued with his role in the 1981 cult horror film Hell Knight, where he played fraternity president Peter Bennett. This role demonstrated his ability to shift seamlessly between television and cinema, contributing to a series of performances that highlighted his versatility as an actor. Born on November 1, 1953, in Salt Lake City, Brophy moved to the San Fernando Valley at a young age. His acting talents were honed at CalArts, where he studied alongside future stars like Ed Harris and David Hasselhoff. His career was launched dramatically when a photograph in the Los Angeles Times caught the eye of a William Morris agent, leading to his memorable role in Lucan. Aside from his acting career, Brophy worked for 26 years as a valet at the Hotel Bel Air, a job that kept him grounded and connected to the real world away from the glitz of Hollywood. This humble position belied his significant impact on the screen, yet it was a testament to his down-to-earth nature and dedication to his family. Kevin Brophy's legacy in the entertainment industry is defined not just by the characters he played, but also by his resilience and adaptability. He leaves behind a body of work that spans from thrilling dramas to heartfelt series, touching the hearts of audiences around the world. As we remember Kevin Brophy, we celebrate his contributions to the arts and the everlasting mark he left on both the screen and those who knew him personally. Rest in peace, Kevin. Your stories and spirit live on. The music industry lost a pivotal figure with the sudden passing of Jeremy Tepper, the innovative spirit behind Sirius XM's Outlaw Country. Tepper, who was just 60, suffered a heart attack in Jackson Heights, New York. His unexpected death has left a void in the hearts of his family, friends, and the vast community of musicians and fans he connected with throughout his remarkable career. Jeremy Tepper was not only the program director of Outlaw Country since 2004, but also managed Willie Nelson's dedicated channel, Willie's Roadhouse, and the Road Dog Trucking Channel, significantly shaping the sound and culture around trucking and outlaw music. His work extended beyond the realms of radio. He was a key figure in organizing the annual Outlaw Country Cruise, bringing live performances to the high seas, celebrating the renegade spirit of country music. Before his tenure at Sirius XM, Tepper was a significant presence in the independent music scene in Brooklyn, New York. In 1990, he founded Diesel Only Records, an innovative label that revived the classic format of Truck Stop Jukebox 45 ES. The label was pivotal in promoting a renaissance of truck driving songs and offering a platform for artists within the country subgenre. His efforts culminated in the acclaimed 1996 compilation, Big Rig Deluxe, featuring legends like Marty Stewart, Buck Owens, and Steve Earle. Tepper's early career was marked by his dual talent as a musician and a journalist. He fronted the world-famous Blue Jays and worked as managing editor for Vending Times and Street Beat, a jukebox trade journal. His profound insights also enriched the pages of the Journal of Country Music and contributions to other notable publications. Remembered by his wife, Laura Cantrell, as an amazing, unique person and a loving father, Tepper's legacy in shaping the outlaw country genre and his nurturing of independent country and Americana artists is unparalleled. The music world mourns the loss of a true innovator and passionate advocate for country music's raw and authentic roots. As tributes pour in, the community is reminded of Tepper's immense contributions and the everlasting mark he left on the music industry. Plans to celebrate his life are underway, honoring a man who lived passionately for the music and people he loved. His memory and influence will resonate within the melodies and stories of the artists he championed. Rest in peace, Jeremy Tepper. Your legacy will continue to inspire and resonate through the airwaves. The enchanting screen presence of Noreen Nash, whose career spanned the glamorous days of classical Hollywood cinema, has come to a close. From her beginnings as a crowned Apple Blossom Queen to a respected figure in film and literature, Nash's journey was as storied as the characters she portrayed. Discovered while performing at the Hollywood Canteen during the 1940s, she captured the hearts of many, making her mark with significant roles in films such as The Southerner and Phantom from Space. Nash first graced the silver screen in minor roles at MGM, 
later achieving leading roles in B-movies that showcased her versatility and charm. Her performance in Jean Renoir's The Southerner highlighted her ability to bring depth to her characters, earning the film multiple Academy Award nominations. Nash's filmography is a testament to her adaptability and talent, with roles that ranged from dramas to science fiction. Beyond her acting prowess, Nash was a dedicated writer, publishing several books that drew from her extensive experience in the arts. Her novels reflect the same passion she brought to her acting roles, filled with intricate details and compelling narratives. Her personal life was as full as her professional one, marked by her marriage to Dr. Lee Siegel, with whom she shared two sons, and later, her union with actor James Whitmore. Nash's legacy is not just in the entertainment she provided on screen, but in the education and literature she contributed to off-screen. As we remember Noreen Nash, we celebrate her multifaceted career and the everlasting mark she left on both Hollywood and the literary world. Her elegance and intellect will continue to inspire future generations of actors and writers. Rest in peace, Noreen Nash. Your story will continue to be told. Breaking news. News 1. Veteran actor Sir Ian McKellen was hospitalized after a fall during a performance of Player Kings at London's Noel Coward Theater. The incident occurred when McKellen, portraying John Falstaff in the Shakespearean production, lost his footing in a battle scene and fell from the stage. The audience was promptly evacuated and the evening's show was canceled. Following the fall, McKellen was attended to by medical professionals, including doctors from the audience and taken for a scan. The theater's representative assured fans that McKellen, 85, is expected to make a speedy and full recovery and remains in good spirits despite the scare. As a precaution, the Tuesday performance has been canceled to allow McKellen adequate rest. Ticket holders will be contacted for refunds or rescheduling. Audience members and the broader public have flooded social media with messages of support for the beloved actor, known for his iconic roles in both Shakespearean plays and blockbuster films like The Lord of the Rings and X-Men. The theater extended heartfelt thanks to the NHS team and the doctors in the audience who provided immediate assistance, highlighting the swift response that ensured McKellen's well-being. News 2. At 81 years old, Harrison Ford is no stranger to the physical demands of his action-packed film roles. However, the veteran actor is currently focused on recovery from various injuries sustained over his illustrious career. In a recent interview, Ford shared his current regimen, which pivots from high-impact activities to physical therapy and rehabilitation. Ford, renowned for his roles in iconic franchises such as Indiana Jones and Star Wars, admitted that his current physical activities are limited to what his recovery process allows. I don't do physical training. It's just all rehab, physical therapy, Ford remarked. He expressed a particular nostalgia for tennis and cycling, activities he can no longer perform due to his injuries but hopes to return to in the future. Despite these challenges, Ford is optimistic about his progress and maintains an active lifestyle within his current physical capabilities. His determination shines through as he prepares for his final appearance as Indiana Jones in the upcoming Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, promising fans a blend of mystery, adventure, and heartfelt storytelling.